Hey what's up guys, I'm Vince and welcome back to Automation and Karkame Tycoon Game. Today we are back in campaign mode with the company called Solaro. And today we're going to be pushing into the 50s and maybe even making a new car. So that should be pretty fun. So as you can see, it is 1948. And uh, we have our car, the Arrow, with the two trims, the GT and the Coast. The Coast being the convertible version and the GT just being the hard top one. So the thing is, as we go more from the 40s into the 50s, this car is going to be more and more outdated even though you know it's selling pretty good right now and we're kind of we're making a profit almost well, what happened right here I, I say we're making a profit when um it's only been like being built for a little bit over a year so i guess we'll i guess in 1949 we'll make a trim of this like a new facelift and update it to um get it modernized so let's uh, get that going let's just quickly get into that and as soon as we hit 1950 or 1940, yeah, 1950, I'm going to say 1950. As soon as we hit 1950, I'm going to click. And now, we're, look, we made, now we made a complete profit. Now we made a profit over our, in, in general, profit. I don't know how to, I'm so bad at this. It's so weird. Okay, so now we're in 1949. And uh, as you can see, the car is still kind of affordable. People are still liking it. We got 86% desirability, 76 desirability. And let's just do one more click, two more clicks, and now it is 1950. Oh yeah, now I can sell cars at Delua. I think. Uh, hold on, is there like a world map? So, anyways, let's go into car projects real quick and click on this bad boy. Uh, yeah, we got to make a little bit of a facelift with the Mach 2, and then we're also gonna go into the engine and make a replacement engine. Actually, we'll do that first. Let's see what we got going on here. Whoa. Exhaust is super restricted. I never noticed that. Wait, did I not? Hold on. Did I not? There you go. Yeah. Activate that shit. Let's see what we can do here and make this engine a little bit better. We can rev higher now. Whoa. Watch out, everybody. We're revving the 5800 RPM. That's crazy, dude. I'm on like 200 horsepower now. So let's do that. Oh, that was easy. I. 226 horsepower that that's gonna take it definitely def this is gonna be fast this is a fast car now 226 horsepower in 1950 that's pretty up there i don't know if, how many cars had that much uh power also looking up the compression a bunch just so it's a better running engine in general uh the reliability is horrible but uh who cares it's this is you don't buy a v12 for it to be rely reliable and stuff so you buy it to be like, you know, it's like have a V12, I also wear a monocle, yes. That kind of shit. Um, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, this all looks good to me. I, I don't know. Let's touch this factory. Let's see what it wants. Wow. Nice factory, dude. That's literally a tiny factory. But we uh, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, just a little bit bigger. Get some extra engines out. Maybe you'll get make some more money from building more cars building more engines so uh, i saw a comment on one of my last video i believe where it said that some people want a uh a soft top convertible some people want a hard top convertible some people just want the coupe so uh i guess i'll look into that we have severe issues of wheel spin i mean i could put a manual locker on it we do have a four speed oh we're getting low comfort penalties that's not good well let's see what we got going on here we still have severe issues with wheel spin, apparently. Uh, 81% in first gear and 96% in second gear. Uh, I don't know how good that is. That's not that good. But uh, we probably have to do something with the suspension because the rear dampers are hard. Let's do 112, 112. And uh, we still got that low comfort penalty. I guess we can go into the interior and have a better thing going on here. No, there's really nothing going on here. I guess we can put one more into quality these brakes look like they're not doing the best so how about we fix those real quick okay rear brakes are good front brakes are as good as they're going to be we're fading our brakes are fading like crazy that isn't good we can optimize our weight to be a little bit lighter how about an advanced 40 safety what, what how do you feel about that huh but now we're selling we're not just selling into the sport category we're selling also into the track premium light sport premium super which is a thing now convertible super sport budget we're selling to all the things we want to sell into eight miles to the gallon that's pretty swag 
Um, front dampers are hard. Oh no, dude. No way. Don't do that. There you go. Yeah, low comfort. Okay. So now we kind of got the car going on here. A little bit better. I will actually, uh, I'm going to go in and actually update the front end a little bit. And just the car in general to make it look more 50s instead of late 40s. And I'll be right back. Okay, I actually really didn't do anything at all. I just gave it a... Uh, what did I actually do? I changed the color and I gave it new rims. Yeah, that's about it. And I gave it this little splitter down here because that, that why not? I guess uh, it's the 50s, our company would be kind of maybe just a little bit investigating aerodynamics. So we got this little tiny piece of plastic right there. And now we can sell that and be like, yeah, splitter. It's a, it's a new thing. It's a new thing, man. You're going to like it. Um, now let's just delete this trim real quick and then clone this one. And that's just how I'm going to, that's just how I'm going to do it. Just gonna, we're just going to cut the roof off. This is not the GT anymore. This is the coast again. And, uh, we're just going to kind of, boop. It's a, uh, convertible now. Oh, those taillights need to be fixed immediately. And then I will clone this again and it's going to be the coast H or hard top. Whoa. Crazy naming scheme, I know. Um, let's, let's go right here. Hard top. Boom. What are you going to do about it? And because this is the hard top, it has to be a special color. Like this blue. Boom. Or kind of like greenish. Oh, yeah. Ooh, green. Very classy. Yes, quite. Um, let's fix these taillights. Let's just do this live, because why not? Um, let's get that... So what do I actually want to do? I kind of want the, uh, I don't want the back of the convertible to look slightly different. So let's, uh, let's move this giant bumper piece I have for some reason. Let's move that in. Let's get it. Let's get everything all fixed up. Why is there a giant hole? What is this? I don't know. I don't remember what this is for. Oh, it's down there. Uh, we don't need that. Not needed. Uh, that isn't either. There we go. Um, I guess the exhausts, they can stay where they are. Not really. They kind of need to go in a little bit. So you don't, like, burn your legs when you walk around the back of the car. Because that, that would be not, that wouldn't be too good. No. Because the, the rich monocle wearing people that would be buying this car probably would not enjoy burning their uh, shins when they walk at the back of their car. Um, it's not like the people who buy this car would even be driving so you, you never know rich people am i right <laughs> I, I don't know what to say anyways um i guess we can do something right here because we got like a weird thing going on oh i fixed the weird thing we had going on never mind um and we can put the Sola little solaro badge gotta get that in there it's not perfect but don't look too closely. There we go. Whoa, the car is finished again. Whoa, no way. <laughs> okay. Um, probably should have did that to the other one instead of just not doing that. So how about we delete the coast real quick? And it's gonna be a coast S because it's a soft top naming scheme. Crazy. There it is. Whoa, dude. Crazy and stuff. Is there anything else to do here? Okay. Handmade materials. I guess that, yeah, yeah, we're handmade cars because we're supposed to be all like exclusive and fancy. That's pretty cool. All right. Let me see that money. Yeah. Look at all that profit and money and stuff. Yeah, man. And because these are like rich people cars, we can probably put like 25% deposit down when someone like orders a car. That should, that, oh, that takes down our profit just a little bit. So I guess we can just 20. Sure, why not? Um, 31%. Cost to dealers. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, sure. That works. Give me that money, man. We don't need a loan. We're going to be making bread. All right. So th that's going to happen in 1951. We're going to get the new update of the vehicle. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Oh, we're still making a full-on profit. Whoa, dude. The cars are still being sold. Oh, no. Car Factory 1 had a quality issue. 
issue severity is small it's low fixed difficulty is low cost of fix is expensive though 3000 engines have been affected uh let me quiet recall that just so we don't mess anything up since we do got like we got pretty okay like quality going on oh we were just making a million for a second in profit but now we're not and there we go. Now we have engineered the Arrow Mach 2. No, the engine factory is being overworked. Ah, can't have that. Well, probably because I added a complete new trim to the car. Uh, we've got stock, it looks like, of cars. Can we just sell off the stock? I'm not going to scrap them. That's bad. The Arrow's doing good. I think we're gonna keep blasting forward until 1953 and then in 1953 oh where's the money going where'd the money go oh yo 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 dude where's the money at hold on why'd i click on that oh, car projects what's going on there what am i looking for marketing ah yes uh, uh we should actually start uh, marketing our company a little bit. Let's get some more sportiness in there and prestige marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, reliability, no, we're not reliable. We're not feel. We're not economical. We're not off-road focused. We're not practical. We're not utilitarian. We're not drive drive that drivable. Pretty sporty though. Sports cars, man. And we're prestigious. And if we go over here into Dalua, whatever you want, however you want to say that. Um, also gonna put. Two into sportiness, comfort, and prestige. They really like prestige over in this country. So, there we go. Now, in 1955, the public has discovered a quality issue from Factory One. Oh, cool. Thank you. I thanks for that. Now people are going to think we're shitty. Nice. Whatever. Screw you. Um, we're still making money here and there. Not really making a profit on the car anymore, it looks like. And now we gotta pay taxes! What? Are you kidding me right now? We gotta pay taxes? Oh, what do you- what do you think- what, who do you think you are, man? Taxes? That's crazy talk. I'm I'm a I'm the owner of a eight one hundred and eighty three million dollar company. I got paid taxes. You're crazy. Um. Anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Can we put like one into the body, some chassis, some drive chain, suspension, driver assists, interior, all this. Let's see what we're unlocking. Anything that I could use as a sports car, supercar. Ooh, in 1956, it looks like we unlocked the Jaguar body. That might be pretty cool. And in 58, we get like this weird Corvette thing. And then we get this thing in 1960. That might be pretty interesting. What else we got? Eh, there's definitely some things coming up on the horizon that we could definitely use. We can use, um, where'd it go? I just saw it a second ago. Oh, I guess I'm blind. We got this thing in the 90s. I mean, this in the 70s. Why did I say 90s? But yeah, we got we definitely got some cool cars going on. So let's uh full steam ahead and hope nothing crazy happens, like a nuclear war or something. Oh yeah, financial report. Let's look at this. Uh, marketing three million. No loaner payments. No engineering. No dealerships. Car production is pretty expensive. Engine production is pretty expensive. Car factory, but now doo doo ba. Uh, 59 million in car sales, 3 million in interest. We made a whole $8 million this year. Oh no, man, that's so much money. Not really. Um, there has to be something going on here. Uh, we're just not selling any cars. Not really. Oh god, not engine factory run one with a damn issue again. Small issue severity, medium discovery chance, so well, damn. Freaking choir recall that shit. I don't want nobody knowing that our company sucks ass. Here. And in 1955, it is 1955. That means we will make a new car. 
Yeah, get ready, everybody. This is gonna be a supercar. The world's first supercar. Oh, do we not have a body yet? We got this one. Actually, we can make like a light sport. This here we go. This big boy right here. Whoa, that is a big boy. I don't know about that one, man. That's uh, that boy's a little too big, in my opinion. Uh, uh, can we get a smaller boy? Even that boy is a little large. A big boy. Huh. I guess we can go with the small one, the small boy. Is that a Trabant? Shit, the mods have been getting updated and I love it. It's just, I don't look at the, when I subscribe to the mods, I don't look. And I'm just like, Trabant! We gotta make a Trabant now. Next video, I'm gonna put a big engine in here. So, how do we do that? Engine does not fit in the car. What, what do you mean it doesn't? Series 2 dash 2. Are you serious that the, the engine doesn't fit in the car? Oh, if it's front wheel drive. Who who would do a front wheel drive V12? I'm not even going to finish that. I know a couple people who would want to do that. Um, Two barrel. Yeah. Let me give it some more power, baby. 236 horsepower. Swag. That's about as much as we need. Very uh, interesting design here. Maybe this is our new design language uh, as we go into the 50s. We're going to be more uh, Maserati type. That'd be pretty cool. I guess since it is the big... Ooh. That's interesting. I kind of like that as we start the 50s. We can get more of a, like a really kind of swoopy design thing going on here and maybe not at the back though kind of have that going on that is that's classy dude as an american this is classy anything else we can do oh yeah whatever that is sure just add weirdness that's how you make a european car just you don't got enough substance behind your car add weirdness and something see add weirdness now we got this going on we could do something with that yeah now, that's a design right there. That's a design and a half. A car like this would sell for at least $7 at Goodwood or at an auction in the present year. What am I talking about? I'm just rambling. So, you know, listen to me. Don't. Whatever. Manual, four speed. Gated four speed, I gotta say. That'd be pretty cool. Um, 150 mile an hour top speed estimated. Open differential. Radial sports compound type. Radials? No, not yet, dude. That's... Oh, it's 1955. I don't want to bankrupt myself because I put radials on my car. There we go. 160s. I mean, we, I think we have to make the rim smaller. Lame. I guess I could fix that and make it look better. Ooh, two shoe drum in the front, man. We're swagging for real, for real. Why am I talking like that? Why do people watch my videos when I talk like that? Anyways, no, this isn't the convertible version. Oh, should it have rear seats? This is the GT. This is a GT car or like a supercar. You know, I feel like this is gonna be more of a GT car. Oh, I can't actually put more seats in the back. Okay, whatever. We're gonna have a sport, a phonograph, dude. That's crazy, phonograph. Now we're gonna have a luxury AM radio and put one into quality on that. No power steering, advanced 50 safety, quality, optimized at white white optimize that weight so it's lighter and i'm gonna go with progressive springs dude oh yeah supercar yeah low comfort penalty oh well, yeah kind of makes sense here we go like a, we go like a sport tune your dampers are hard so i'll bring them down to 123 well we got 106 683 score right now that's pretty sick um, how does it look? That looks pretty cool. That looks really cool. Not gonna lie. There's definitely some things I can do with this to make this a really interesting looking car. A whole new era for the Solaro com company. Anyways, I will design this, put some work into this, and I will be right back.
And all right, here we are with the 1955 Rivera GT concept. And it looks pretty good. I don't know. I didn't really take that much time on it, but it's a good looking car. I definitely could have made it better with like more flowing lines and stuff, but I might come back to this and make it its own thing. Anyways, now we just got to build our factory and whatnot. And once we do that, everything should be good. Okay. Whoa. What the hell's going on here? All right. Um, let's make the second trim real quick. This is the super trim, and I guess uh, there's some other versions of this car we could do. We could do a nice uh, stop top. You know? Boom. Stop top. This would be the, G the GS, sure, for... Whoa, it has a wagon? That's cool. It has like a wagon version. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Is there other... I guess it's the only... I'm having a stroke right now. I guess it's the only one that really makes sense. I guess we could also do this one. The one that we already did. I don't know. What's the difference? I mean, we could do this like weird hatchback thing. That would be really cool. It's the interior. Manual soft top. Boom. Perfect. And this is a super convertible luxury thing. Convert convertible sport 800 score in convertible sport whoa this car is gonna sell pretty good i'm assuming um can i build a new like a uh, factory uh how do i do that how would i build a new factory in Farinia, let's buy a nice medium-sized plot and get a nice medium-sized factory there gotta put that qa testing so we stop getting those stupid issues There you go. Engine factory two. Boom. I, I don't know why I have to touch engine factory one. What am I doing here? Factory has been signed off. Oh, okay. Then stop bothering me. Lame ass engine factory. Okay. Now we just got to do the car factory. I'm going to build a new factory. Ah. Do I want a new factory? I don't know if I want a new factory. Oh, let's get, go back, go back. Do I want a new factory? I don't think so. Oh, I can't update the old one, so I guess we're gonna do it. Like, fuck it. I guess we're gonna spend money. Why not? Medium size plot. Medium one size. Actually, we need a small two size, three size factory for this car. Galvanization plant and QA testing. Like that. Hopefully I'm not missing anything important. Okay, here we go. Forecasting tool. Yeah. Oh, well, at least there's some money in there. And since this car is a really nice one, 20% on the deposit and boom, boom, set the margin. 388% markup. Uh, wow. I don't know about that one, man. It's kind of a lot. How about we do like a, let me do 37, 37. Yeah, 37, 37. We should be making money. Money somewhere? Hello, money. Any, any money here? Around here? Eh, whatever. Should be good eventually. Deactivate alone. We don't need that. And this car will be out in 1957. So. In 1957, that's going to be the end of the arrow. And before we end the arrow off, we're going to have to make a quick facelift of it. Put the new engine we put in there. Open this up real quick. Get a new facelift. 1955, it's been five years. Let's uh, update the engine. Alright, we don't need to update the engine. The engine's already doing its own thing. All good. The GT replacement. Great name. Love that. Let's see. What can we add? Four speed still. Tires are good. Brakes. Oh, I didn't put the two, two and brakes in the front. My bad. What else we got going on here? Everything good? Everything good? Oh, yeah. We don't even got to do nothing. We don't have to do anything to this, basically.
Let's see. I guess we just gotta upgrade the brakes. The... Nice. Brakes upgraded for this bad boy as well. Boom. The GT is selling to the supercar category. Why? Why would you do that? We have another car that's selling to the supercar category. So maybe don't do that. There, be in sports category. GT. No. Uh. I guess maybe super then. Huh. Where's this just normal sports? Right there. Okay. Sure. Oh no. The engine. It doesn't have an engine right now. Uh, okay. I don't know why we don't have an engine. I'm gonna keep the factory just like that. Boom, boom. Okay, we don't need a loan again. This is coming out in 1955. Factory should be done soonish i guess anyways until next time i'm vince hope you enjoyed this episode of automation campaign and i'll see you in the next one peace have a great day all that stuff love you bye